Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. You're now watching episode 3. So, let's get going to Charms class. And I'm really enjoying this, especially because I've got an RTX um, 3060 on my graphics card. So, well, as my graphics card. So, if you have a look, the, the ground actually has um, reflections and stuff like that. So, yes, it's going to look good. So, I need to go up here. Oops, excuse me. Thank you. And I've got to go through here. Oh, did you just move? Okay. Eddie Cleaver? Who's Eddie Cleaver? My life is behind me. Oh. I promise. Okay. I cannot do this. The ghosts are chasing each other. Oh, that's cool. Excuse me. Do, 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 do. Professor Ronan intends okay, to go on a bit. Here. Cool. We're at Charms class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only right. one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Right. Okay, so... Nice. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. Thank I you. see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Nice. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Nice. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? Okay. 
I've heard you can actually change your... Very simply, um... cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last Accio. Now, very good. That's it. Whoop. Stay focused. Splendid. Very nice. good. Points to Gryffindor. Thank but you. there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Go, yes, Nelly. Okay, let me go over here, because I want to... There we go. Okay. Okay, what for? Accio! Nice. Very good. Watch this. Okay. Phew. My turn. Ah, damn it. Quite impressive. Let us see this. I'll go over here now. Yes! Okay. Back here. Excellent control there. Oh, nice. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. This is how it's done. Accio. Happens to the best of us. Damn it. Get in my way. What's this? Both of you, well done. Very good. <clears throat> it's a lot harder to control those balls, I will say. Because you're going to get just right. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks sure. for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. 
I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Nice. Uh, see you, Natty. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Okay. Well, a word you'd be using if it you're clothing, to be precise. You wanted to speak with you me, Professor. With I you. did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Thank you. All right. Cool. Hello there. You're Hello. the new student, aren't you? Uh, yes. Um, I need to go this way. I want to go here now. Okay, I'm just going to have a look around. What's this? Okay. Don't get too. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go over there. Like you had one victory Actually, over Sally. Before we, before we um, do that, I need to quickly save. Backs down from the fight. Okay. So down we go. Oops, excuse me. Down do 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 do. Do do do. Oh, no, that's a wall. I didn't want that. Do do do. Wait, who? I hear a voice. Where's that voice coming from? Hang on. Peeves? Who's Peeves? Oh, Peeves the uh, poltergeist. That's right. I remember him now. I heard. I've heard um, stories about him. <laughs> oh, he's somewhere. Um, I go this way. Okay. Nice. I wouldn't mind exploring. Oh, no, hang on. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Nice. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Nice. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. 
In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Thank you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, nice. All right. Cool. So we're going to go meet Professor Ronan. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh, yes, thank you. Where did you get your dragon hide glove? Uh, I didn't. Oh, well, I don't think I did. Oh. Okay. Ah, there you are. All right. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Cool. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, so... Collect a flying paper near the three... the broken statue. Okay. This is the right area. Got it. Cool. Collect a flying paper near the tower. Okay. Okay. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Got it. That was quick. Okay. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvellous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I did repair it. Cool. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Nice. Okay. Just going to see Natty. Um, hang on. Yeah, okay. Alright. Oop, no, I need to go this way. Okay, I'm up here.
Repair her. Okay, wait, I saw a flying page somewhere. This cannot Accio. possibly be as difficult as it seems. I don't know, I need to go down here, don't I? Just when I think I've lost. To go straight through here. Bravery runs in my family. Oh, look at that, isn't it just beautiful? Hello, looking for me? Yes, I am, but I will talk to you in the next episode. So, thank you everyone for tuning in and see you in episode four.